Eagle Flash. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it and we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. It's that door at the end on the right. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. How much? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. 
All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. We must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch. Dutch is. I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can, many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peta! Yes. Bring him to me. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move.
Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... sometimes. Okay, girl. That's horse you have there. What's up with you? Time, girl. Get him.
Well, at least you ain't run off. Camp, have you? Crossed the Great Divide? Apparently so. Cleet and Joe are good. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn <clears throat> cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spent. To run off? Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack... And the women free. Well, then there maybe ain't we no can. Freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you got to do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I, I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we got to let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you... Think it's best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We stay on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on, it's this way. I hit the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. There it is. 
I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Sure, I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. This is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well. Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! Come on, Arthur! We gotta get... 
Get on that train!
Find the gun, Arthur! move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up.
did? Agent Milton and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah! Yeah! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. All them years. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna get Abigail out. Of course we are. Because we don't leave our own behind. That's what Dutch taught us. Well, seems his mind got changed on that idea. I remember one time, years ago, he let fly at me for robbing this house. Saying, that man was too poor. How taken from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah get rich off of it. Micah is a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, then we might be able to get to it before they do. <coughs> <laughs> Let's just get her out first. You say it? Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Now, John, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry young fool he used, just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. <laughs> What's left of it? Now come on! Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. 
Ricky. out like gentlemen.
Let's get out of here. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Ah! Billy's got him. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Abigail, you ride mine. to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or what? he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. 
Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. I gotta go settle some things. For me, no one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <laughs> Money, my.